Good morning guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 23. I have some packages to unbox. I just woke up, I think it's like 8.30. I honestly really just wanna read this morning. Today is my last like work day, hopefully of 2020. I'm really, really trying to take the entire week off after Christmas. There's probably a few things that I'm gonna have to do, but for the most part, I think I'm gonna be able to. So I have to shoot some deals this morning, then I have to finish wrapping presents, the whole shebang. So guys, my Twin Flames has finally arrived which is perfect because it's my perfect outfit for today. Please. Okay, oh, so cute. I got the medium in the top. Oh my gosh, they're so soft. And then I just got a small and the sweatpants. Oh my gosh, so cute. So this is what I'm gonna wear today. Next, we have my new recess package. I'm gonna make some mocktails with recess. So they sent me more. Here is the 12 pack sampler. It's my favorite if you guys are new to the vlogs. Um, these are like CBD hemp drinks that really help me relax. They are just like the best treat after a long day. I'm also really into drinks, so I have, I'll show you, this entire thing in my fridge just for my recess drinks. If you guys want, you can use Kenzie 15 for 15% off. This is probably the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my body. Okay, it's now 1 p.m. I just door dashed some Velvet Taco. I just got out of the shower. I've been shooting brand content all morning. I actually had so much. Honestly, I still have another thing to shoot. So I don't know what I'm going to do that. Christmas Eve Eve. I don't have really any other plans today besides getting this stuff done, edited, and sent in. So I'm going to import some footage, get going on that, um, and then we'll see. Oh my god, I FaceTime Keaton and just like went on with my day and we're literally matching. <laughs> so cute. Oh my god, is that sweet green? Yeah. I'm so jealous. Hey, can I just have a venti vanilla sweet cream cold brew with peppermint instead of vanilla, please? Yes. <laughs> That's it. It's not 460. He said 460. I said venti, right? Morgan, that's so funny. I was literally recording the clip of me, and then all of a sudden, all you hear is, yes, on the speakers <laughs> in my car. Perfect. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. Have Thank you. Have a good day. Wow. Morgan, I got my, I got our drink, really. You know, Morgan, honestly, I totally forgot that you, sh I was trying so hard to think about who showed me this drink last year. And I just want to now give you full credit because I like it took me forever to remember. And then someone commented and they're like, oh my god, I remember when you and Morgan. And I was like, oh my god, I got it from Morgan. So are you vlogging? Really? Yeah, I'm vlogging. But I just <laughs> forgot. Like, I don't know. You know when honestly I forgot even about the drink order until someone DM'd me that they got it and I was like, oh, I should go back to that. And now I just like can't stop. Yeah, I want the royalties from this. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's not a groundbreaking drink. But it we is Okay. Credit. Okay. Well, thank you. I just needed to clear the air here on oh, the vlogmas. Scared. I'm turning the last three days into a week in my life because my life is so uneventful that like I just can't do it. This mm -hmm. may be the last year of vlogmas. If anything, I'll do week in my life like Keaton next year. But I think it's something you grow out of. Like I cannot fathom having <sighs> done it this year. Like, ugh. or I'd hire an editor. It depends on what my life is like next year. Morgan, what do you think about me meeting the love of my life in the next year and just eloping? Could you see me eloping? Because I would. No, I can't. I don't think you would. Um, I really don't want a wedding after 2020. Oh, I don't want a wedding either. Yeah, so no, I think I, I would elope. Do, well, not within a year. You wouldn't do it within a year. Ugh. Well. You have to date at least two years for... I forget why I read this thing about it a long time ago. I, I know, that like, is like a thing. You're pregnant, yeah. We'll see. I don't know. I see out of all of our friends, I do see myself to be the one to um, elope, so. I see myself, but thank you. No, I, well, okay. I think we have different versions of what eloping is. What is your definition? <laughs> the fact that we're just having a full-on conversation right now in this vlog. <laughs> um, my, my definition would just be like, I secret, like, I, not even secretly, but like, one day you just like go on Instagram and you see that I'm married. You know? You don't think I would do that? No, because you're good at planning stuff. No, but I just we... want to go to the 
and then get married there. Yeah, but you've always you've always wanted a destination wedding and Morgan, like honestly, your stuff is always so fun. So like I'm hoping that you stick to that and we still have a great time at your wedding. But mine on the other hand, ideally I would do, I like what the Bieber said, where you do the courthouse and then you get married, you do the wedding a year later. Cause I don't want the wedding to be like, I don't know, that's just so much stress. That's why I just like, I don't consider this my, my vision to be really a wedding. I just consider it to be a vacation with a cause. With a cause. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to, um, in the vlog clip so we can get back to what we were really okay. talking about, you know? Right, um, right, right. Okay. I got Starbucks. I have therapy. I I'm just home right now, but I got a package from Lux Unfiltered. So thank you, Savon. I feel so cool because it's Savon Ayla sending me a package. She said she wanted me to try out the new products because I tagged uh, her and how much I love her normal self tanner. These are the self tanning drops, the face drops, which I love. If you guys are looking for a good self tanner, this is the self tanner for you for multiple reasons. The biggest being that it's gradual, it's really natural looking. It doesn't streak, it doesn't stay in white clothes. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Body cream, which I'm excited to try. And then, I'm, and then some more self tanning cream, which I'm so excited for. So here are the last of the last presents that I haven't wrapped yet. Actually, my cousin's is still not here and hers was the first one I ordered, which is crazy. I don't know what's up with that, but I got my brother. Um, another pair of Outdoor Voices sweats because he stole mine when we went to the lake house So I got him a pair so I could have mine back I also got him a ps5 game, but he already knows about that my stepdad I got him a butter cloth like really nice shirt that he likes he's so hard to shop for but it's a good gift for him I got these smart bulbs that I'm gonna give one to my brother one to my sister Maddie and Cody. I know there's gonna be so many questions. I know that I'm thinking about it in this vlog. My parents are divorced, they're both remarried. I technically have, I have eight, I grew up with eight siblings. Seven of them are still here. Um, and there's three on my dad's side. There's two still on my mom's side. Three of them are triplets. There we go. Um, and then for one of my step siblings, both of the other two gifts are already wrapped. But for Seth, I got him these Saint Laurent glasses that were like legit 75% off. So yes, I am the best sister ever, but also this is probably the best deal ever. And there's no way he hasn't seen this as he's coming over to my house. Oh, wait, no, they're Dior. They're not Saint Laurent, but still, like, I don't know. He knows all these good deals. guys and look I ran out of wrapping paper in the middle like literally on the very last present that I had to wrap so we're just gonna ignore hey guys that. Merry Christmas Eve it is currently I think like 10 30 a.m. I just did a long Devo this morning I'm about to head over to my dad's house my parents are divorced as most of us know so I'll do Christmas Eve with my dad's side of the family and then Christmas Day with my mom's side we just alternate every year so anyways, I'm gonna head over to my dad's. We're not doing anything until tonight, but I just like wanna hang out there. I feel really weird because I feel like I like neutrals in softer colors now. But I got this in the mail. Here's the, where I got it from. Sorry guys, I don't have it. So cute, awesome. I'm in this green jacket that I'm gonna wear tomorrow. Anyways, really comfy, really cozy. I didn't feel like dressing up for Christmas Eve, so I did it. Anyways, I'm gonna pack up a little bag for today to keep myself entertained and then pack up my presents and head over to my dad's house. Don't forget, currently Dom and I are doing a giveaway. We're giving away a $250 giveaway. If you guys go post, if you guys go enter by commenting on this post and tagging through fence. All right, so I separated my presents. I think this is what I'm bringing to this house. So I'm gonna have to carry all these down. I just cleaned my house a little bit. So when I come home tonight and pack, for my mom's house, it's already clean, which makes you feel so much better. The tree is starting to be empty around because all the other gifts are like over here. So, wow. Merry Christmas, everyone. Come on, Fitzy. Come on, boy. Let's go upstairs. We're gonna weigh Fitz to see how much he weighs, obviously. Fitz, come on. Wow. Oh my God. Fitz, congratulations. You're exactly 51 pounds. Congrats. Oh, this is shocking to see. Huh, interesting. All right, guys, Seth and I are on a mission right now. If you don't know, Seth, um, I get questions and all that. People are like so confused. Anytime you're in my vlogs, they're like, who's that guy in the background? Because I hear your voice. I'm like, my stepbrother. <laughs> Seth is my stepbrother on my dad's side, and he is one of three. He's a triplet. How do you feel being a triplet? You Very don't, nice. I, I forget 
that like that's like such a crazy thing to yeah, be a triplet. It's, it's, it's normal. The Kalachi Donut Store closes in I don't know what time. Like in, they close at noon, historically speaking. So we're going really quickly to get Kalachis. I realized I wanted it, and now here we are. We're on um, it's like a speed racer thing. Seth, do you want to play a song? You can show me what music you listen to. Not Seth <laughs> drives this like big truck, which honestly, like, I don't even feel bad for you that you have to like do all of my like manual labor because that's just like part of getting a truck. If you're especially being in a big family, like you should have seen that coming. Yeah, I don't know why I did it. If you had known that I was moving back after you got a truck, Shit, would you have changed gone, the car? I would have got like a Nissan or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> Good gas mileage. Uh, yeah, that's so true. Your car gets horrible gas mileage. I know, it really does. Either that or I just like always send, I normally just like fill your tank. Well, I send you what? No, my, my tank. My, my car's like a hundred bucks to fill a tank. No. And it's just like 12 miles per gallon. That's just like so stupid. That's horrible. So. But I do think that being in a truck just makes you feel more powerful, you know? I mean, not really. It makes me feel more powerful, but just when I'm high up. Yeah. All right, let's hear it. You know when you get COVID tested, like after my oh, oh what? Okay, I'm I'm into this. Right there, yeah, that's oh. not okay. It's really messing up their footage. Isn't I know, it? yeah. You know, it the is. world just revolves around. I know, you, right? uh, I know. I'm so God, glad. God, what are you doing? Page. You know, at least my siblings get it. Yeah, yeah. I know. You're I mean, one of eight that gets it. I think. I mean, like she called you, and you just gotta run. No, no other option. Yeah, literally, <laughs> you really don't have an option. He's at my house within like 11 minutes. Remember only God can judge you Forget the haters Cause somebody loves you I am the bathroom I'll do when we get the clutch. Make sure you don't hit that car Cause I'm, sure. I'm not gonna hit these cars I'm driving totally fine you know Alright guys We're running into the donut store Support your local donut store Shop Seth look at my outfit Isn't it so cute I was wearing a cute leather jacket too You missed it It's like a ground paper But just black Okay Whatever. I swear to God, I'm not kidding. This exact Range Rover is always parked outside of here. Always. Here we go. Oh, thank you. I mean, we are facing horrible news, guys. They were out of kolaches. Oh no. Okay, Donut King opens at 12, they're closes at 1230. I'm hoping that they don't disappoint. It looks promising. Oh, thank God. I saw something the other day. You know, all those like tweets about the vaccine. And they're like, if you drink this every day before school, you should not be worried about the COVID vaccine. That's what I'm saying. I'm not worried. <laughs> I'm not either. Gotham. No. Mm -hmm. We're in different age brackets. So. Yeah, you're old. What I'm is? Not. No. I'm wise and mature. You are young. And I'm barely legal. You'll know this. Yeah. Oh, okay. You just killed it. You no, killed your streak. No, you song. absolutely no, ruined your streak. Turn it there. up. No. I love the speed and shout and love it all. Still like this song? Not really. No. Honestly, this is such a movie song. Choose where Seth goes to college in the comments below. Give them your options. Um, Tulane, College of Charleston, um, Arizona, SMU. TCU, Denver, I'm missing one, no, I'm missing multiple, Gonzaga, um, he's gotten into these schools too, so like these are like legitimate picks, so um, let him know in the comments below where he should go, yeah, your opinion will really make a difference on what I choose, exactly, uh, you need to start listening to other people, you know, yeah, I really should, can we listen to a different song, yeah, just for you, maybe like a Dua Lipa, Woo woo woo. Seth, are you having the best time ever hanging out with me? So great. Yeah, I, I knew love it. it. <laughs> Cooper. Alright, Seth, what do you think you got from me? I'll be thankful for whatever you get me. That's so see. not true. That's so true. No, it is not true. What do you think? What you're do you think? I'm trying to shine a bad spot. No, I'm not. I'm just. I want to know what you think I got you. I feel like you're very intimidating, pointing this camera. No, I. Want I me a Coca. No. What? Do you have any guesses to what I got you? No. No. Idea. Yes, you do. Oh my gosh. Okay. He is so big. Oh my. God. Oh my god. Did you want to? What do you think I got you for Christmas? What? Um, what? Something uh, COVID related? Uh, yeah. Actually, no, I was going to, but I, I, it was too hard. But I have no idea. This is better because it's, um, 
It's more practical. Okay. Hey, cook Sorry for college? Condiment, kind of. So it's it's, it's not, not something good. cooking for college. No. Okay. It's not but I have no idea. No, because that was better. That'd be like a better grad gift. Yeah, that's true. Ready? So. I have no idea. Look at his sweater. It's Whataburger. We love it. <laughs> Wait, model them off. Let's see. Ooh, look at you go. <laughs> How cool. Do you like it? I love it. Thank you. Is I had no idea what I was getting. I know. I, it was really. Me and my best pup always. Look. Oh, she's hiding now. How do I zoom in? I'm recording. I just don't know how to zoom in. Yeah. Oh. The wild Kinsey in her natural habitat. Oh, I'm tired. Yes. Merry Christmas, Fitz. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Cactus. One guys, oh, so handsome, so cute, Coco. Oh. <laughs> Also, I think I might wear one of them today. Part of me wants to like wear a really cute outfit and then part of me just like doesn't have the energy. The first thing I got is this set. I'll link them below. Guys, I already feel more motivated even though this is like my last day of vlogging for like a week or so. But I'm really so excited for next year and to like make my vlog so much better. I'm not gonna be in college anymore. I'm gonna have so much more time. So, comment below what videos you really wanna see from me, even if they're more like personal and about certain whatever. Okay, this top, which I would just wear with a long sleeve under, and then these pants, which are like sweatpants, but they just look like you tried harder, you know? Look at him. This is what happens when he forgets how to jump on the bed. He can fully jump. This chocolate brown blazer. Super cute. A chocolate brown little tank. Thought this was cute. There he goes into his chair. I don't think you guys can even see, but he's literally always on his chair. Okay. I also got this set, which I thought was so cute. So I actually like this set better. This cute top with these really cute bottoms. Like, guys, should I just wear this instead today? I feel like my family is gonna dress up for the first part and then we we rented out a movie theater So we're gonna go there Maybe I'll just bring this for to McKinney to wear at some point point. and this top which I'll probably end up wearing today just like a little white Turtleneck that I really needed. I feel like I can go through these really easily. Here's my outfit It's not my fave my jeans are really wrinkled and I just need a new pair of jeans that are exactly this cut without the asymmetrical thing because these are the best Jeans ever, Princess Polly jeans. I've shared them so many times in the vlogs. I know a lot of other people have them too, but they're so comfy. This jacket is from a store I shared yesterday. It's so cute. It's also green, so it's like festive. I don't know, I think it's really cool. My favorite Sam Edelman boots. And yeah, I haven't decided how long I'm gonna stay in Ian McKinney. I'm really trying to just take time off and not do much. So I pack as if I'm there for days, which like, Probably won't be the case. I'll probably be there like two or three. I packed a lot of clothes. I'm not gonna lie to you. This bag, the base weekender, it's so good. Normally I'll just bring this, but I need it more stuff. I am almost to my mom's house. I'm passing my old middle school and elementary school. I feel so old. Anyways, I'm on my way to my mom's. You know when you're in your hometown and you have like flashbacks, like I'm pretty sure I went on a date with someone there and I'm pretty sure it was awful. You know, like, I don't know. And also, I'm like, I'm only 23. Like, why am I forgetting dates and stuff that I've gone on? But I think just because they were so bad that I'm just, like, trying to forget, you know? Like, that was, like, an active level of forgetting. Fitz, are you so excited for your first Christmas? He does not care. Oh, he And then unscrew these things. Oh. 
So if this doesn't, nothing spills. It's not that fun. Well, if you want to pop it, pop it. I'm kind of afraid now. It's just you don't. Okay, 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 okay. You know. <gasps> it still scares you though. Did it? Well, definitely don't do that. Oh my god. Okay, you want 80 20. For me, yeah. That's yeah. what I expected. I mean, we are an Irish family. Well, Ooh. Yes. It's now starting. <laughs> Sophie's so excited because she looked at the camera and said, We can vlog. We were having a conversation, but. Yeah. Did you have a good Christmas morning? Yeah, we're going to go watch a movie. What are we going to watch? Um, Buddy. Buddy the Elf? Uh huh. <gasps> and what else are we doing? Um, well, no, I mean before. Oh, oh yeah, we're coming back here um, to open the present. Yeah. Are you so excited? Yes. Yes. Are you allowed to go? Mom, can I go? It was wrapped yeah, in Sophia gave, gave it when I went to Ryan. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can go. 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 Okay. So cute, so these are beautiful. Do you see this? These are what you're gonna want when you're older. Okay, give it a few years. This is gonna be a book. How did you, you know? Because it's from me. I know it's a book. I know it's a book. You know it's a book. Okay, yeah. let's see what kind of book it is. That's why I was like, don't buy anything for your. Another book that I can read too. A is for awesome. Yes. All of these really nice shoes in the world. Isn't that so cute? Dolly Parton might be a bit too. Mom! Mama! You're welcome. Mom! Wait! I got a Dolly Parton book too! Really? Look! Yeah! <gasps> Ready? So look! Oh my god, we both got Dolly Parton books. Mama! Mama! I got it! Oh my god, that is so cute. That is so cute. Are you trying to let me use the old I love that. Let me see. Oh, it's so cute. Aww. We're going to the movies. You're ready for the movie. What candy do we get with the movies? We got Sour Patch and Silly String. What? I don't know. Is that what you call it? I don't know. No, licorice. Uh, Twizzlers. 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 This is, the screen is so loud. Crunch. Crunch. We have the theater to ourselves. Yeah. Are you one of the girls? They're right behind us. Grandpa. 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 Oh my gosh. What did I with this? You always get slurpy skin. Oh. Mom, I'm gonna share with Maddie. No, so let's have another one. Wow. We finished the movie. How was it? Well, Buddy the Elf. Buddy the Elf was it so good? Yeah. It was so good. I'm drinking my icy star. Can you finish yours? Uh, I love you. Oh, you forgot. I love you, mask. Thanks. Say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to all. Merry Christmas. 
Oh, so if you're so cute. Hi guys, we are back from the movie. If you guys didn't know at Cinemark, you can rent your own movie theater. Um, it's actually not that expensive at all. I definitely really recommend it. I have been trying to film this clip and I just cannot get the right words out. So I'm just gonna say what comes to mind and then just end it there. Merry Christmas, everyone. I was driving today and just thinking like, to be honest, this has been a very, very hard year, especially just in the past few months specifically. Like, not even necessarily, I mean, a lot having to do with like my personal life, but also like so many people that I love and like adore so many things going on with them. Like, I don't know what is going on, but this has just been horrible. But I just mean like even on top of pandemic stuff, like there's just been so many things that have happened that are just like, tragedy after tragedy after tragedy after tragedy like i literally was in therapy this week talking to my therapist but i'm like if i just get if i can go to the remainder of 2020 without getting another call and then i got a call literally an hour later that's probably the worst call i got in 2020. i'm also so aware when i say i've had such a hard year to know like i still have my family members i still have a job i still have all those things like and i am so unbelievably grateful there's just been so much going on honestly just all of 2020 i think you guys really genuinely know like maybe 10 percent of the hard things that have been going on and i just feel like you know when you just feel like you're like drowning and then you're like oh i can like breathe again and then it's like just bad again so i feel like i go through periods of time where i'm like no i feel really good like i've got this and then something else happens and then i'm like i got this i got this and then it just keeps happening and i'm like oh my gosh like when is this going to stop i just wanted to talk about this and just kind of have like a very real chat at the end of today's vlog i feel bad because i know so many of you guys come to my vlogs because it is an escape but at the same time i i don't know i really care about being honest even though sometimes it's just like not the time to share but also I know there's so many of you guys who had a really hard holiday season and you're on YouTube or on Instagram or whatever and seeing all these people like even if you look at my Instagram right now it looks like I'm having the time of my life you know and I definitely do have good times too and so this is what I'm trying to get across basically um I lost two really close family members within the span of a year and a half in this week. There's also like another loss this week that's just horrible, horrible. And I was on the phone with a friend this morning and I was just talking about grief in general and I think a lot of us are, I know a lot of us are currently in my life grieving right now. And the thing that I've learned the most about grieving whether you're grieving a life you're grieving a person you're grieving a job you're grieving the idea of what you thought you were gonna have whatever it is is that joy and mourning are not respecters of each other so and i just think it's really important to be gentle with yourself and give yourself grace and also recognize again joy and mourning are not respecters of each other so there are going to be things that happen you will have really hard times in life but even in the midst of that, like, you can still have joy. There are still going to be, like, the small things that make you happy. I think that's also why sometimes I have a weird relationship with social media because it's, like, you know, what I'm sharing with you is really my life and is really what's going on, but it's only a portion of it, right? Like, I'm not going to share, you know, two nights ago when I got a call that was horrible, sobbing that whole night. Like, that's just not what I want to put on, on the internet. And I also don't think it's productive for either one of us at that time. But I do just want to be realistic in this holiday season and just be honest, like, it has been so hard for me. I've been going through so much. My dogs are out the door. I'm unbelievably grateful for you guys. If you had a hard holiday season, I'm right there with you. I see you. Things are going to get better. I just keep thinking about, like, this time a year from now, how much different life can be. I know there will be a day where I am grateful for a lot of things that have happened. And I'm more than anything grateful for who I've become through it. I'm just not quite there yet. I feel like I'm getting close. So, if you were having a hard time and if you didn't have the best Christmas ever, you are not alone and I love you so much and I'm so sorry and I, I don't want to say I get it because I don't know all of your circumstances, but I get some things, you know? Anyways, I hope that made sense. I don't even know if that was helpful, but I just wanted to say, like, I know it has to be so hard getting on social media and seeing all these people who are having like the time of their lives and i think because i have a youtube channel and i'm like really in the game i know that that's just not always the truth and i'm just really grateful to see who we all become through this i love you guys so much i just realized that my nails match my outfit um and i will see you guys 
in 2021, I'm going to take some time off. I, one, need it, and two, my videos are just going to get worse and worse if I keep posting. So I love you guys, and Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys soon. Bye.